I have some, uh, I have some decent people here. Ah, uh, it's like the second day in a row. I get water in my ears. Don't know why that is. Oh, this, she chopped me, pal. Hold on. Moth still go around the studio. All right, this side. All right, it's a shitty webcam. You know, it, it. I look much, much, much better in person. You know, and probably you know if I had the right equipment. Anybody want a toothpick or anything? They help your ball guard, yeah. Okay, you're doing great. Anyways, uh, you know, a lot of people make judgments. You know, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You know, someone's doing like something like this. I mean, when I'm hot, people drop me. When, you know, when I'm not, you know, I, I get, you know, I have people hang around. But I don't have time to hang around, you know. I mean, I, I don't need 5,000 friends, you know. I'm, I'm happy with the little, little little thing I have here, you know. People will people know, you know, people know if someone's being genuine or, you know, if they're just, like, placating and all that. I don't placate, you know. I don't. I just, which see is what you get, you know. It's like, anyways, um... Having said that, um, yesterday I did stop by at a place that I worked for th for three years it's down in the city. If you walk down the city of Troy, it's terrible. I don't know why people don't even do thing, do anything about it other than give somebody some flapjacks and uh, uh, pastry and stuff like that. I mean, is, is this? Ah, oh, God, I, I don't know why I'm the only one seeing stuff like this. All right, I think I'm doing a John Lennon type of thing here, but. And because I worked in in this field for for three years, and I think now I'm, now I think about it, I'm thinking, well, maybe someone directed my steps here, because I had everything in life, you know, at one time, you know, like, you know, traveled with California, went all over Boston, you know, just lived, you know, as an actor, and then um, I came back to New York, I think when I was like uh, 30. After all the acting and all that, just having fun, New York City and all that, plays, living life, you know, best restaurants, best hotels, best of everything, played in bands. Then all of a sudden I got to be 30, and, you know, my girl broke up with me. Well, the brother did. The brother, all right, see, when I get choked up, I need the water. <clears throat> well, the brother didn't like me. And, um, uh, we were supposed to get married, and uh, we didn't. So it was devastating, as anyone would uh, would know. I mean, you know, I mean, you're, you spent a long time with somebody, and uh, and you mean it. You know, inside your heart, you're saying, "Well, I want to get married." You know, and uh, well, you know, it didn't happen. So you know, fine. Then you know, my friends woke me up. You know, after you know, after I you know do what I had to do, you know, drive, drive, drive to where she worked. Please, please, mammy, mammy, mammy. Anyway, uh, well, I got over that. You know, of course, everyone does. But uh, what I did was then I started dating. I started dating all these girls. I had a great time. And then I found out, you know, everyone was cheating on me and stuff like that. I'm like, whoa. With every girl that I met, I wanted them to be like the girl I had. You know, I mean, you get used to things. You know, you break up with someone you've been going out with for seven years. You know, you want, you want to, you know, you want things, you know, this is what I, I did, this is the kind of, this is how I want my English muffins toasted. This is how I want my coffee. You know, and people out there are always male chauvinists. No, it's love. It's love, people. It's love. You know, don't give me that. You know. Anyways, um, but the thing was, when I started doing it, I started seeing all this crap going on. I was like 30. One day I walked in and made a lucky bet. You know, I was, I was delivering a pizza, I used to run a nightclub, and, uh, you know, that was, I used to do all phases of the place, you know, everything. You know, manage the place, and, but anyways, to make a long story short, uh, entertainment too. But, um, yeah, I made a lucky, well, I walked in the parlor, and there was like these three guys from my neighborhood, and they were Italian. 
and they said there's a horse running by the name of Jerry Bomb and Santos is on him. I said, what do I do? Well, they said you put some money on it. So I said, 20 bucks enough? They said, yeah. I mean, little, I mean, the horse was 99 to 1 or something like that. Anyway, I paid like 200 bucks to win. And for 20 bucks, I had almost like two grand in there. And, you know, she's counting all this. She's giving me all this money, like for 20 bucks. I'm like, well, you know, I, I got in my car and I had the money in my hand. I'm throwing it all around. You know, I felt like, uh, you know, like a movie or something. You know, like a decent proposal and throwing the money up in the air. You know, I just pulled that, pulled up all, the, all to all these places and started spending it like it was water. It's like, give me this, give me that, give me this, give me that. Well, next thing you know, I'm back, I'm gambling. For the first six months, it was great. Even for, for, the, for, the, for the first year, I could not lose. Could not lose, people. I was tons and tons and tons of money going everywhere, going to tracks, going to Belmont, going to... Saratoga up here, uh, everywhere. But then I, I just got stuck. You know, I got stuck. I'm like, what happened to me? We'll continue this on Friday. So hold that thought. Now I get back with with the real show.